Hey everyone, my name is Bronchel Parker and today I'm going to be reading my story, Lucky Feet, that I wrote for the May 2021 issue of Highlights Magazine. But first, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a special something that brought you oodles of luck? Well, in Lucky Feet, track star Joby Nimble has a special pair of track shoes or spikes that bring her oodles of luck. Here's her story. Lucky Feet by Bronchelle Parker. Art by Leo Aquino. Number seven, Joby Nimble takes the lead, cried the announcer. Just one more hurdle and cheers erupted. Joby Nimble from Riverside Middle School takes first place in the girls' 100 meter hurdles. The crowd went wild as Joby's teammates hooped. Way to go, sweet spikes, they yelled. County championships, here we come, squealed Joby patting her worn neon green track spikes. They were bursting at the seams, but she didn't care. They were her lucky shoes and she loved them. Next Saturday, we're taking home the gold, Joby whispered to her spikes, excitedly retying them. Pop! She sighed as she stared at the broken off piece of shoestring dangling between her fingers. Don't forget guys, chirped Mighty Soul, one of her teammates. My birthday party is next Friday at Hidden Park. Beep! Party recorded in calendar, joked Joby in her best robot voice. Next weekend couldn't come soon enough. Joby brimmed with excitement all week long. At track practice, she leaped over those hurdles faster than she'd ever leaped before. And it wasn't long before everything in her path was a hurdle. Flower pots in her front yard, sidewalk cracks on the way to the bus stop, even her little sister Tika. The day of Marisol's party, Joby put on her favorite outfit, her swishy blue shorts, an old track t-shirt from her dad, and her lucky spikes. Perfect, she smiled at herself in the mirror. The party was in full swing when Joby arrived at Hidden Park. She stopped by the track first, planning to do a couple sprints. Even at the end of the park, music and the smell of grilled food filled the air. Sweet spikes! Two of Joby's teammates rushed toward her, breathless and barefoot. And they squealed. You have to try the slide. Joby's eyes darted toward the party area. Slide? What slide? Suddenly, she saw it. The biggest inflatable slide she had ever seen was on the far side of the park. Shoop, shoop. Smiling kids zoomed down the middle at unspeakable speeds. Without thinking twice, Joby chucked her spikes and bolted toward the slide. Its ladder stretched to the sky like Jack's magical beanstalk, but she reached the top in no time. She plopped down, scooted to the edge, and closed her eyes as she let go. Woohoo! Joby couldn't get enough. She conquered the slide, shloop after shloop after shloop. When it was finally time to go home, she reluctantly made her way back to the track where she'd left her shoes. As she eyed the area from a distance, panic set in. Joby picked up the pace, her heart pounding louder the closer she got. She was full on sprinting now. When she reached the place she'd left them, her heart stopped. They're gone! She screeched. My lucky spikes are gone! Joby's teammates helped her search the park. No lucky spikes. So long, Gold, Joby groaned. The next day, the best track teams in the county gathered at Hidden Park for the track and field championships. Squeak, 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 squeak. Joby's feet danced a jittery two-step in her brand new spikes. Next up is the girls' 100 meter hurdles, said the announcer. Oh. Joby gulped, go sweet spikes. Teammates patted her back. as She slowly walked down to the starting line, her feet squishy with sweat. Runners were ready now. Joby had just sneaked a peek at the packed bleachers when a familiar green glow at the end caught her eye. My spikes, she gasped, eyeing the shoes dangling from the bleacher's edge. Someone must have found them and set them there. Bah, went the starting buzzer. In a flash, Joby was off. She set fiery focus on her lucky spikes as she cleared hurdle after hurdle. Closer and closer she got. She was nearly there, just one more hurdle and Number 52, Joby Nimble takes the goal for Riverside Middle School, bellowed the announcer. 
Joby grabbed her lucky spikes and rushed over to her roaring teammates. As Joby squatted to untie her shoes, Marisol cried out, Joby, you broke a record for the hurdles. Then she added, lucky you. Lucky me? Joby froze at first. Then after a minute, she looked down at her feet and smiled. No lucky spikes. Beaming with joy, Joby whispered, lucky me. Go Joby, go Joby. Thanks for listening, guys. You know, I'm kind of pumped to run a race now. How about you? You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go!